Well, today is the shortest day of the year with only around nine hours of daylight. And last the darkness comes in early and the cold weather continues, seasonal affective disorder can really sneak up on you. Rachel Ramsey spoke with a licensed therapist about SAD. She's here for you now with the best ways to prevent it. Rachel. Sherry, SAD is really common this time of year. Symptoms can be oversleeping, appetite changes, cravings for high carb foods, weight gain, and low energy. But there are things you can do when you feel SAD coming on. A therapist with Blooming Minds Therapy says light therapy can be helpful, whether that be spending more time outside during the day or getting a light therapy lamp. She says vitamin D is a great supplement as well, but should be paired with things like exercise and getting enough sleep. And she really emphasizes self-care during this time. She says it's helpful to have a daily routine to keep yourself busy through the winter months. Oftentimes, if you have a strict routine, even when the weather is cold, it's really dark out, it's a little bit easier to get through this period. I think it's also a really great time to get into new hobbies. So our mental health practice is all about plants, and we are really big on the connection between plants and mindfulness. And what we do in particular to kind of battle seasonal depression is we encourage people to start taking care of plants at home. And she says it's important to not be hard on yourself if you are experiencing SAD. Talking about it with others can help remind you you're not the only one going through it. If you feel like you're going to harm yourself or need immediate help, the crisis hotline is always available by calling 988. Back to you.